Good morning. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, March 27th. And today we're talking about a rekindling. And it comes from Revelation chapter 2, verse 5, where it says, Do the things you did at first. Again, that's Revelation 2, 5. Let's pray this morning. Dear Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for just another chance to serve you, another chance to share you with others. We ask that you would help us just to remember uh, when we first gave our heart to you and um, just the excitement and the newness and the freshness, the freshness of spring. Lord, as spring is coming, I pray, God, that you will remind us of the newness and freshness of our relationship with you. And we ask, God, that you just rekindle that, that you would be with us today. Guide our words. Guide our thoughts. May our heart be in tune with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Jenica. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning, Aretha. Talking about a rekindling today from Revelations 2.5, and it says, if your relationship with Jesus is left as though it's become distance, as felt as though it's become distant, know that your feelings of connection with him aren't lost forever. In fact, what has worked Reigniting relationships with others can work in your relationship with Jesus. You can rekindle your passion for him by doing with him and for him the things you did when you first discovered his love. Yes, it will take some intentional investment of your heart, soul, and mind, yet working on a relationship isn't burdensome when you love the person and when the work is spending time with him, sharing your hurts and dreams, listening for his voice, and walking through life. Both the mountaintop experiences and the deep valleys with him at your side. Even in your darkest hour, Jesus will still love you and care for you, and he will never leave you, Matthew 28, 20. Your love for Jesus need never diminish, grow stagnant, or cool down. Just do the things you did at first. Nurture it, watch it grow, and you'll find it fueling you as if or as you act in love toward him and his people. Jesus, please show me my part in nurturing and strengthening my friendship with you. I want to live with you as my most treasured relationship. Amen. Mm. You know, I've heard people say, and, and honestly, I have felt it to where I say, I haven't heard from God for a while. Well, give him a call. You know, if you haven't heard from a friend for a while, what are you going to do? You're gonna get on the phone and you're gonna give them a call. Or today you might text or message or Facebook or whatever. But it takes intentional actions of doing something. And uh, to hear from God, <clears throat> excuse me, get into his word. Hear what he has to say. Spend yep. some time in prayer, spend some time in worship. Yep. All of those things will remind you of the time that you gave your heart to him and maybe it's a maybe it's a recent thing maybe it's a long time maybe you were saved when you were five and so you don't remember you know exactly what happened or where you were or how how you felt but just rekindle that reignite it amen amen good morning Kay. it's good to see you this morning too with us you know i was thinking about this and, and just the the rekindling but so that and you're right, I agree with all that. As we move forward, just remember, too, that you want to keep that relationship burning and you want to keep it hot. Mm -hmm. I think about, um, I'll use an example of our relationship. You're going to leave me. <laughs> um, when we think about our relationship, we have, we have worked very diligently to make sure that our relationship stayed um and if you can allow me to use this word hot um because we knew that one day our kids would be out of the house and we would be empty nesters and we didn't want to be in that place where we've honestly seen many other people where you know you have to get to know each other all over again because you've poured so much into your family that you didn't spend time so we've always made it a point to make our relationship of great importance and dating on a monthly basis at least once a month and maybe more and talking of course and all those things and that's so important that we do that with Jesus even though he's not sitting physically right here with us or in that same proximity as far as physical things 
but he's always there. He never leaves us nor forsakes us, as it says, even as they quoted in Matthew 28, 20. But I think of also in Hebrews, it talks about that too. But, um, you know, just rekindle those things that, that maybe once were there. And uh, there's many ways you can do that. But being in the Word, and like my wife said, calling on him, just going to prayer and saying, honestly, Lord, it's been too long, and I'm sorry. Because that's all you need to do. Because he loves you and he cares about you. And he wants a relationship with you. It's not that he's walked away because he doesn't leave us nor forsake us. No, he was he's 13, waiting five, to spend right? time with you. He is. And uh, so just just get on your knees, pray. Or driving down the road right now, maybe you're listening to this. And uh, you just need to call out and say, Jesus, I'm sorry. And I want you in my life. And forgive me for not calling you before, like we would say to an old friend or something like that. Forgive me for dropping off the edge of the earth here and, and not being around. But uh, rekindle that relationship by just saying, Lord, help me. So Yeah, you know, as, as we grow older and our kids move away, mm -hmm. or uh, maybe they would say we moved away because we did, but... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> When we're not in the same town anymore and um, we look forward to times when they're going to come see us or we're going to get to go see them or we're going to get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them again, we look forward to that. Yep. And I know that our Father looks forward to time with us, Amen. just to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Him. Amen. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you that today is another opportunity. Today is a fresh day, and maybe that we find in this devotion, we find somebody else in that place right now where um, they've strayed away from you. They haven't talked to you in a long time, and I know that it's as easy as just saying, Lord, help us, you know, and I'm sorry that I've been distant from you. I'm sorry that I haven't called on your name. I'm sorry that I haven't been to church, whatever that may be, but I know that, God, that you're always listening and always wanting that relationship with us because you love us so much. Mm -hmm. And I just think about even right now in this moment, this season of the year right now, spring, which <coughs> we all know is a, just a, a season when we think about freshness, new beginnings. Um, just like Easter we're talking about, you know, we think about um, the victory that Jesus has brought us. And even this Sunday, tomorrow, we're thinking about as he rode in on the donkey on Palm Sunday and they threw the branches down on the ground and which was a sign of that they'd used many years for kings coming home from victory and and as Jesus rode into that town and they threw the palm branches down they were announcing and declaring victory but although we know this it wasn't until a week later on Easter Sunday when after he'd went through a, a terrible week of being beaten and crucified that he rose from the grave and that grave and that truly brought us victory because he death couldn't keep him down and he arose and he's alive today sitting at the right end of the father interceding for us and loving us so i pray that you would meet whoever it is right now whatever hurt they're going through whatever loneliness they may be going through whatever pain they're going through we know that you are our healer that you will care and love us deeply. So I pray for that individual right now today that they would sense your presence, sense your comfort, sense your love, and that they would draw close to you today by just calling on your name. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, it's good to be with you guys today. Remember talking about a rekindling out of Revelation 2, 5. Do the things you did at first. Just go back. It's very simple. So God bless you guys. Remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep looking up. God loves you very, very much. And tomorrow Sunday, find a good church that preaches the word uncompromisingly and go and have fellowship and worship with the people of God. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Saturday.